y'all thank you so much for watching mission julie tv where we're talking about everything and when i mean everything i mean like episode number three of this new series that i have um, been dealing with for the last three years hence uh, <laughs> my whole hiatus but you know that's neither here nor there we're just ha i'm just happy to be back and i'm happy to see y'all happy to see me like as i'm recording this y'all just saw episode one so y'all haven't even gotten to this episode yet but just so far like y'all have really really surprised me because i honestly thought that y'all forgot about me or i just thought that like girl you've been gone for too long uh dc may worry about you but clearly that's <laughs> not the case so um if you are an old subscriber and you've been you know sticking with me since before um i just want to say thank you thank you so much for supporting me and if you knew i've been noticing a couple of new people too um okay then you too posting my videos or whatever on the suggestions <laughs> but um hey y'all thank you so much for watching and that being said if you knew if this is your first time watching you might want to pause and go to episode one so that you can you know get caught up and also go ahead and like that video if you haven't done so already and hit that subscribe button down below and also turn on your post notifications because although my new schedule is to post these series every friday at 6 p.m central time some weeks i'm also gonna be like popping up with other story times or other videos that I'm going to be doing in the middle. So I did a lot of talking. I'm pretty sure y'all ready to get into the tea because the last episode that left y'all on the cliffhanger, one of my subscribers said it felt like they was reading a book and the book got snatched away from them. <laughs> and I thought that was a pretty clever way to put it. But if y'all aren't new to this, y'all already know I'm the queen of cliffhangers. Like y'all going to be on the edge of y'all seat until next week and then when next week come you're gonna be on the edge of your seats again because that's just how i do things but that's just to keep y'all engaged can't spill everything all at once because like then we ain't gonna have shit to talk about right so with that being said let's go ahead and get into this video and not to drive to cause and diversion bitch i'm drunk just give me a burger if you don't take it far it won't go further i got baby mama drama and problems and her to i signed both my so last video i left y'all with the screenshot of darius basically telling me that she took a pregnancy test thought it was negative i don't know how long she waited child but she, she thought it was negative threw it in trash um he comes to the house he gets the pregnancy test out the trash because he notices two lines and I'm just like, okay, yeah, that's that's just crazy. So I told him, I said, you know what? Go ahead and tell her to take another one. <laughs> She'll go buy another one. So um, they went out and bought another one. And y'all already know she's pregnant. She's for real, for real pregnant. Like, y'all could have already knew that she was pregnant before. But I'm just saying, like, they took other tests to confirm it. So And so I was talking to Darius. And I'm just like, I thought she was on birth control. Like, what happened with that? And he was like, well, apparently she told me that she had a doctor's appointment earlier the previous month. And she got it taken out. But I don't remember her telling me this. How don't you remember your girlfriend? telling you that they're gonna get a uh, foreign object taken out of their body and you already been raw dogging her at this point so hey how, how do you how do you not remember that i don't know child i don't know who who remember what i don't know it don't matter at this point how and when it don't even matter but that was the first thing that i thought because i was kind of confused because he ain't never told me that i know he told me that she had baby fever but he ain't tell me that she took measures to get the baby put in the oven girl i don't know but let's just continue i'm dealing with having a new baby also still trying to get used to having a whole new family in my house that i like i don't know you know I'm, obviously i'm slowly getting to know them but prior to like i really didn't really know them at all so i'm just dealing with that kind of annoyed and was stressed out some days some days were better than others whenever you live with people you kind of got to adapt to their habits and they kind of got to adapt to your habits in a way um and it's just hard to live with somebody that that isn't really like you especially whenever it comes to discipline their children like that's one thing that grind my gears is when a parent don't properly discipline their child or whenever a parent just kind of like brush it under the rug whenever it comes to their child and they know addressing needs to be done so there were plenty of times where katrina's oldest son steven there's plenty of times where he have got out of line or 
you know, just was kind of a little disrespectful, or whatever the case may be. And Darius would have to like tell Katrina, like, you gonna check that or, or, or what? And the way I was looking at it as like, okay, you gotta understand, she ain't been in her kid's life for I don't know how many years. I don't know if it feels weird to her to discipline her children. I don't know if these are just the scenarios that I'm coming up with as to why she isn't really parenting like she needs to be parenting because you know prior to this baby she was living her best life like she ain't birthed three kids you know what i'm saying she was living her best life like and shit was 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 nothing you know so i'm just like okay she knew to it you know she's still kind of trying to get in the the swing of being a parent or whatever so i get it you know she just probably need a little help a little guidance but it got to the point where there is he was fed up he was like i'm tired of like you know telling her what to do with her kids and my husband will also kind of step in and help her and just plan her kids talk to them and we're just step in as that manly figure to kind of Tighten them up a little bit, you know? Everything was cool or whatever for that time being. But I noticed that Darius started spending a lot of time in our room. Like, our room was so big that we had a whole love seat in our room. So he would come home from work and just be sitting on our couch. Sometimes end up falling asleep and shit. And my husband one time asked him, like, Sir, like, what, what's going on? Like, why you been spending a lot of time over here? Like, <laughs> why you ain't in there with Katrina? So he would kind of brush it off and would, you know, try not to really say too much. But we knew, like, something wasn't really right. Um, eventually, he started opening up and just telling us how, like, it's just kind of getting too much. Like, he ain't really signed up to be no stepdaddy. Plus, now he got a baby of his own coming you know coming in this world and me, me and my husband is like you knew this was gonna happen like i mean granted he he didn't know about the whole you know kid situation coming into the picture but like it was a potential either way it go because if you're dating a mother rather she got her kids right now it's gonna be a point in time where you're where they're gonna be in her life or be in your life so this is gonna happen regardless it may not have happened in the same form that it happened but it was just it was bound to happen and another part i'm thinking on back of my head like if your ass <laughs> wasn't worried about how rent was gonna be cheap maybe you would have left her where she was but now you're stuck everything just happened so quick like all the they known each other for a long time prior to this situation they never was serious you know so now that they try to become serious it's just like all of this shit started happening all at once you know one month she moved in next month her other kids move in two three months down the line she pregnant and Darius would also make comments about like the fact that she was still married and he wanted her to you know get a divorce in order for you know him to really just take her serious and i'm just like okay don't rather she gonna get a divorce or not like you knew she was still legally married before you decided to do this so that's like neither here nor there but i can understand that it was a concern i don't know what type of plans he had for their future but from the sounds of it it sounded like he really wanted to take her serious and eventually you know marry her as well but he couldn't do that because she was married so he would like talk to her about it and she would just make just excuses as to why she haven't done it yet, but she just never did it. So not only would Darius confide in us, Katrina would actually confide in me. And you know, just slowly, like, gradually tell me things. I'm gonna get to the point where she was just comfortable with really just talking to me. So I do not recommend living with another couple because it's just so uh it's real messy so i don't i don't recommend it at all but she would talk to me about certain things and also would tell me things like oh i think he's still talking to his ex-boyfriend i would just like try to ask her why she thought that and I, I can't remember what her reasoning was behind it but she felt that way for whatever reason just keep that in mind for future references time progresses you know i'm just like starting to get the feeling like i feel like darius loki probably regretting this <laughs> because he just looks so stressed out on some days and it's just like he he just seemed as though he was just dealing with her just because he knew that at this point she really honestly depended on him because she didn't have her her mama like although her mom stayed in the same city i never understood that i just assumed that maybe just her and her mom really wasn't that close because baby if i had my mama out here my kids would be spending nights she, they'll be, she'll be helping me like all of that but she didn't have help at all so it's like if somebody was always at the house because i was working from home and still is working from home but you know by me working from home somebody is always home so you know she was able to go to work and leave and he was able to uh, talk to my dear is he was able to leave and stuff like that so the kids will be home with us because you know 
we were there all the time and she didn't have to worry about that. I don't know how she was gonna do it if she never moved in with us because that's the time she only had a one bedroom apartment. I honestly don't know how she would have maintained it. I feel like everything happened for a reason because I'm just like, God, how would you, I'm pretty sure God would have made a way, of course, but it just seems so crazy how God put it to where, he made it to where she moved in with us literally a month before her kids were gonna have to come stay with her. I, I just feel like it's just crazy how everything played out. So y'all, you know, whenever you first discover you're pregnant, you make that first doctor's appointments, typically you can't get an appointment until you're like at least eight weeks, at least out here in Texas, I don't know how it is in other places, but usually they don't want to see you until you're at least eight weeks and i think that's because at that point like your baby should have a heartbeat and stuff like that i don't know child i didn't have a lot of kids but i don't be remembering all of that that shit to exact all i know is you can't get a damn appointment until you're at least two damn months pregnant okay you know we're waiting for the appointment and at this point like i told you on the last story time this is when covid first started happening so she had her doctor's appointment set up the protocols at this point was it was only one person that could come in the doctor's office like a significant other couldn't even come like that's when COVID was like early early you know at one point they made it to where at least one person could come inside with you but bitch in this stage this first stage nobody they they barely wanted your ass in their office so get alone another person with you so she had to go by herself but Darius he did drive her to the appointment or whatever but he just stayed in the car so child she goes to the appointment or whatever everything looks good uh, I don't know the specific the details because I didn't give a fuck <laughs> I was still irritated at the fact that we were even dealing with a pregnancy in the house like you living with us like we ain't living with y'all you living with us the audacity to make a child and you ain't even like y'all ain't even girl anyways so they come home from the doctor Darius you know this is his first time experiencing it so unfortunately like it, it just kind of sucked for him being that it was his first child and he wasn't really able to experience the whole doctor's appointments and stuff like that at least he was able to experience the birth but you know it kind of sucked that he couldn't go through the full process so i want to say maybe like two days later darius had came in the room with us you know he always come chilling and catching up like i said me and darius was real cool he was like the brother that i never had like if i had a brother and realized but y'all know it i'm the only child my mom ain't had no other kids and my daddy ain't had no other kids it's just my ass and that's probably why i have a lot of kids now <laughs> to me he was like the brother that i never had but always wanted so we used to always just chill darius come in the room and he was like yeah, um, Katrina told me something about the doctor wanted her to come in um, to the office tomorrow. And I don't know what's that about. What y'all think that is? And I'm just like, I don't know. For some reason, the outside of me was like, okay, be positive, be positive, be positive. The inside of me was like, ooh, putting my feet in those shoes for a second. It was like, ooh. If you're a woman, you know, you never want to go to the gynecologist and then a couple days later, they tell you to come in. <laughs> like, they don't even want to talk to you on the phone. They don't even want to leave a message, bitch, a letter, a note, an email. No, they want you to go in person. My spirit wasn't right. Me trying to encourage Darius, I don't want to freak him out. Like I said, it's his first baby. I don't know what's really going on. Like, I wasn't there at the doctor's office. I don't know what they did or what they talked about. So it could be anything. But whatever it is, just don't panic because everything's going to be all right. She was scheduled to go to the doctor the very next day. So, of course course Darius couldn't come with her and he was actually at work at the time anyway so at this point it's the very next day and I'm just chilling in uh the game room with my husband you know like when he be playing a game I just be sitting on the side of him we just be talking I remember I was holding my baby and my phone rang it was Katrina why is like Katrina calling me maybe she left her keys maybe she can't get in the house I don't know bitch she don't normally call me but I know whenever she called me it's just for something like probably quit so I answered the phone and she was like okay I know what y'all thinking I know the fuck she did not just cut this video off right here and did girl of course you gotta wait until next week to figure out what katrina told me i'm sorry we're gonna be here same time next week next friday 6 p.m like i said we're gonna be consistent so you don't have to worry about me being late you ain't gotta worry about me not uploading none of that but in the meantime if you haven't done so already make sure you go follow me on all of my social medias mainly instagram because i really be posting on instagram like for real for real everything else i don't really deal with right now it's just too much for my anxiety like auntie can't keep up 
look, I'm almost to 30 and I just feel like all of this new technology is just too much sometimes. So um, I can only do one and Instagram is who I chose. So follow me there. Also give this video a thumbs up. I need to know that y'all here. I need to know y'all fucking with it. I need to know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing out here in these YouTube streets, okay? If you knew, you know you ain't hit that subscribe button when I told you hit that subscribe button in the beginning of the video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.